the model uh, loaded for uh, this uh, tutorial is the spiral reactor bottle that was sent to uh, EOS. It was the and uh, if, if we look at it, it was uh, a watertight mesh. Now, to examine this model to find out if there's uh, anything wrong with it, it's very easy to look at the outside part of the model. But if we wanted to look at the uh, inner surfaces, it's very hard to zoom in with the camera without getting other polygons between what we want to look at and the uh, and the camera. So the easiest thing to do is to disassemble the model. Now we know there are three places that the inner and the outer parts of the shell connect together. That's at the end of the two uh, spirals and the circular ring at the top. So we'll go to the tools triangle relocation memory command and uh, then we will uh, click with the uh, camera uh, with, with the middle mouse button and set the camera pivot point uh, on at that point and now we'll start selecting triangles now to, to keep moving around all we have to do is wherever the cursor is just uh, click the uh, middle mouse button and that point moves to the center of the screen and then we can just uh, carry on uh, uh, clicking sometimes it's okay to zoom out to uh, see where you're at and come in. Now here there are some very thin triangles as we go around. This one is uh, easy to see so we'll catch that one. And I missed one here. So I'll click there. Now uh, if I uh, zoom in we're going to disappear. Uh, I could go down to a, uh, a, a lower uh, uh, and move the camera closer to the model in smaller steps but instead I'll go to the field of view button click and move to the left and uh, decrease the angle on the field of view until the uh, triangle is big enough to click on then go back to the field of view right click and we go back to the default of 30 degrees And uh, should you uh, do the separation and uh, uh, miss miss one of them, you can always go back and uh, move it over to the uh, the new layer that uh, was created uh, later on. Now there are some more thin ones over here. Oh, can, we can move up a bit. There's one there, and then we have two uh, side by side here. There we go. And we've got another one there. Set it back to the default. Okay, I do have that one. Okay, now they should be all selected, so I'm just gonna uh, click down here, put the view, okay, and just turn around to make sure that they're all green. Okay, so now I'll go to move new layer, and I'll call uh, this layer top ring okay we now do have a new layer called top ring and it's the selected layer to moving triangles too now I always pick names that go below the layer that I want everything to merge back into the names are sorted alphabetically so when I merge the layers back together again they'll all go in and become one again so now I'll let middle mouse button click there move around do it again zoom in and now we'll select the triangles here 
and we'll move those to a new layer which we will call top end okay now we'll zoom out uh, click down here get around click again zoom in select the triangles Okay, and we'll move to a new layer and we'll call this one bottom end. Now I'll zoom way out so I can go back up to the top. Click, bring in. Now, if I have properly separated the outer part of the shell from the inner part of the shell, uh, I'll be able to turn all the outer shell, select all of the uh, outer triangles in one move without selecting any on the inside. So I'll hold down the shift key and click over any of the triangles and they all turned red on the outside and stayed green on the inside. So we have good separation. So we'll move to a new layer called outer. Okay, and everything is separated. So then we can click OK. Now we can go to the uh, edit vertices mode and start going around to uh, check uh, all the uh, surfaces. Now for the outer surfaces we could have done this without separating the model but uh, I left until this stage and then uh, to do that. So now to collect to uh, to make this layer the outer shell the current layer hold down the shift key and click the right mouse button and it oh there we go I sometimes have uh, trouble when I'm capturing to get uh, uh, to get it to uh, work just right because I think I'm between frames or something going on so now we can zoom in uh, across all the layers going up and down to uh, see if there's anything that looks wrong that looks wrong when there's nothing wrong I then just have to hold down the control key plus the shift key click the right mouse button and the layer should should deselect but it's not so I'll go to the layers menu and uh, click on the outer shell to turn it off then in the same way we can uh, look at the uh, look at the two ends I'll right click on the end go in once you, once you know it's okay then you can just turn it off and this time it worked you know it's just you don't know what's going on when you're when you're capturing we do the same thing here and again it works I can go up and uh, I could uh, select totally check the ring and then turn it off and now I'm down to the uh, inner the inner ring and instead of having to check it from the inside I can now check it from the outside uh, which makes it easier to do and you, and when you're building the model and trying to make it watertight it's it's good to separate the parts to get in so that you can uh, uh, you can do it so it's uh, easier to move around once you're all certain that the model is uh, once is okay then you just uh, exit the edit uh, vertices mode uh, turn all the layers back on go to uh, merge all layers and say yes and here we are we're all back into layer one and if we do a watertight check everything is still uh, watertight the only reason that we could have got into trouble by separating layers out and put it back together again is wherever we made the sep separation to put triangles on different layers is if we had changed the position of the vertices there or we had taken and rotated the whole layer into a new into a different uh, relationship to the other layers in the whole 3D world. Otherwise, it'll go all back together again. And that's how you disassemble a model for checking and then reassemble it. And so that completes this tutorial.